once again to my channel fox business my name is supposed godwin a marketing professional and a marketing trainer if you have not subscribed to my channel yet don't forget to hit the subscribe button and subscribe don't forget to share comment and like today we're going to talk about brand components brand components most of it when people hear of a, a brand all they tend to think about is maybe the brand name the brand sign or the brand color but today we're going to learn something about the brand components or brand components but before that let's quickly rush through the definition of a brand there are several definitions of a brand by different authorities but let's take this definition of a brand a brand is an identifiable product service person place that is augmented so that the buyer or the consumer or the user perceives relevant unique added values which match his needs closely so that is a brief definition of what a brand is now let's get to look at brand components in this video i have outlined six components of a brand some literature or some marketing literature goes beyond that but i have outlined six of them one of the brand components is functions or the function aspect of a brand okay so one of the components of a brand is its functions what the brand do the core mechanical purpose of the brand so for example if it is a hotel the hotel provides a place to sleep so that's the brand function of the hotel if it's an eatery the eatery brand function is to provide a place for people to eat and get satisfied and then we have the brand benefits that's another component of a brand the brand benefits what the customer gets from using the product or having ownership of the brand right so what the customer gets from using the brand or the having ownership of the brand right so we're talking of um, utility right and with this let's take an example of a hotel or let's say a restaurant tasty meals nutritious meals becomes a brand benefit of a food brand so that is brand benefit that is brand benefit now let's look at brand associations brand associations are another component of a brand what consumers link and connect the brand to the kind of emotional connection that the consumer has with the brand so what does the brand link or what does the consumer link or connect to the brand for example it could be the brand's celebrity customers or guests or even the city in which the brand is located this tends to develop some kind of an association some kind of an emotional attachment with the consumer or the customer right so we have, that is brand association and it's another component of a brand brand association is another component of a brand now let's look at brand promise brand promise brand promise simply talks about the fact that what consumers believe that what the brand says it is delivering so the consumers believe in what the brand says it is delivering right or what the brand stands for what does the brand stands for what does the brand stands for what does the brand stands for so for example if it is a restaurant or a hotel we see is a four star is a five star restaurant a three star restaurant right so what consumers believe the brand says it is delivering or what the brand stands for that is the brand promise so when you hear brand promise brand promise it is all about what consumers believe and perceive the brand says it is delivering or what the brand really stands for 
and every brand has a brand promise as a matter of fact the next component of a brand as a matter of fact is personality brand personality what kind of human characteristics does the brand possess is it a fun brand is it a lively brand is it a romantic brand is it a reliable brand is it a brand that is trustworthy is it a brand that promises and never fail is it a brand that is very credible and convenient so that is the brand personality the kind of human characteristics that the brand as a matter of fact possesses so as a brand there's a personality so in a, in a nutshell every brand has a personality and these are the human characteristics that the brand as a matter of fact possesses and then the next and the last one we talk about is brand identity brand identity which is the outward looking view of the brand that is the face of the brand towards the the, the public it is the outward looking face of the brand It involves elements used visually for communicating the brand so for example the logo of the brand the brand graphics the brand colors sometimes also referred to as the brand dress the fonts of the brand graphics images etc brand mascots and so on and so forth if it is well structured it makes the brand very very memorable it makes the brand very very memorable so when we talk of the brand identity we are talking of face of the brand okay the outward looking face of the brand what most consumers see the most and like i said earlier on elements or the elements that are that are used to visually communicate the brand so the logo of the brand graphics the brand color or the brand dress the brand image the fonts and so on and so forth and if this is well structured it makes the brand a memorable brand it also puts the brand as a matter of fact on that high level of awareness on the mind of the consumer thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe share comment and like it is free to subscribe subscribe help the channel grow so i also provide with free business consultancy thank you very much and watch out for my next video